The system of the future is here, today. It all began with a measuring scale. A measuring scale to locate vital alignment points on every car model. Measuring the three different dimensions in a single operation. Length, width, height. These measurements are taken from the zero plane or datum line. The zero plane is the most basic, but accurate of all available references and is used by car manufacturers to establish vehicle dimensions. The scale not only measures height, when installed on the telescopic cross slide, it measures widths. This cross slide glides backwards and forwards on a beam to record length measurements. A beam for lengths. A telescopic cross slide for widths. And an extension scale for heights. And with six or even eight of these slides, you've got the universal measuring system P188. Diagnosis. No need to remove the mechanical parts. No need to clamp the vehicle. This car pulls heavily to the left and cannot be cured by adjusting the wheel alignment. With the P188, underbody diagnosis is fast and simple. By using any two-post lift, you can quickly measure the underside of the car without crouching or bending. First, select and consult the data sheet. Data is given for mechanical parts in and mechanical parts out. Data sheets provide the necessary information. Identifying the car's main measurement points, measuring the dimensions down to the last millimeter and even half millimeter. The P188 introduces a new degree of accuracy to vehicle measuring. The accessories which may need to be attached to the car or on the measuring unit. Let's see this in practice. This is a car installed accessory. With only a few accessories, all the main points can be measured. Roll in the measuring unit. Only one man in stopwatch time. Set the scale to 17 millimeters. Select the required extensions. 100 millimeters as the data sheet shows. Screw the height scale assembly onto the first cross slide. Position beneath the measurement point. Specified width is 569 millimeters, 400 plus 169. After positioning the first set of slides, install the second. These slides contain a compression spring. Lower the car towards the measuring unit. The P188 will rise to register on the measurement points. The rear pointers rise and contact the car underbody and are held firmly in position thanks to the unique air bellows principle of operation. Now, to raise the front of the unit, the front bellows push up, locate and compress the scales. Both slides compress identically, confirming no twist condition. Position the beam evenly beneath the car. The measuring unit is perfectly located parallel to the zero plane, the manufacturer's datum line. Lock the cross slides in this position. Set the length tape to zero. Up to four independent slides remain available to check heights widths and lengths. 
three dimensions are given simultaneously from each cross-slide assembly. How has such a complex process become so simple, so fast, and so precise? The measuring unit can be compared to a high-precision engineer's table. But a special table with adjustable legs pointing up into the air. The table is supported by a flexible device. The air bellows, which hold it against the specific manufacturer's points. Having located the table, we can now add as many legs as we like. In this case, two more, making six. The measuring unit, however, is not just a diagnostic tool. It clearly plays a major role in the straightening process and can be used to complement many repair systems. Take benches, for example. The P188 will completely revitalize your old bench. No more brackets, forget them. Just some clamp supports, accessory and data sheet boxes, a runway track, a measuring unit, and now the car. You can add a Macpherson measuring unit, a pulling arm, one or two hydraulic units for multiple pulling and pushing. No more waiting for brackets to arrive. You can start repairs at a moment's notice. No bracket hiring or buying saves you money. It's simple and it's fast. One man operation. Removal of mechanical parts is seldom necessary. The P188 is an efficient, profitable system for minor and major repairs. Damaged points rapidly resume original dimensions. Why should you trust these measurements? Well, there is no comparing the early measuring systems with the P188. These first generation systems position the car to their measuring unit using clamps. These clamps are attached to the pinch welds. The trouble is, with sill pinch welds, they are highly inaccurate and often bent and their dimensions do not even exist on manufacturers' drawings. Furthermore, you can never be sure how high or low the car is clamped. Poor positioning of the sills causes misalignment to the measuring bridge. It's a serious problem for first-generation measuring systems. The measurements are incorrect. If the car is not level, the measurements are raised and shortened, at worst, by several centimetres. Not so with the P188. It attaches itself to the underbody like glue. How the vehicle is clamped is not important. The car might move during the repair. This is not unusual in any repair system. Watch this demonstration. The P188 stays with the vehicle due to the elasticity of the air bellows. Any pressure changes on the measuring unit are controlled by internal regulators. No need to reset the air controls, a further time saver when compared to the first generation systems. The P188 can be used with most straightening systems. After the bench, the MITEC system. MITEC is a collision repair system with anchor pots installed on the floor. The same P188 is now being used with this system. The P188 can be moved from one working bay to another. From the diagnostic bay to the bench, where repairs can now proceed without it. <laughs> 